Hi friends, I'm Ashley of Ashley Plants and Greens, and I'm back. It's been a while, I know. Uh, I, in October, hit a um, pretty gnarly mental health snag and just decided to take a mental health hiatus until the new year. Uh, and it was much needed, exactly the right call, but I am here and I'm ready to get back into making videos about planning and reading and sharing my life with you all. So let's get into it. Today's video is uh, a plan with me for this week, January 4th through the 10th. And you will notice that there are several changes uh, to my system and my supplies. I was feeling really uninspired with the layout I was using and the stickers I was using. I just needed to change things up. So I did for uh, the new year. I'm really excited about what I'm using right now. I hope you are ready to come along with me. You will also notice uh, that I was kind of off my uh, planning chatter game, <laughs> if I ever even had any. So you'll notice that about halfway through it just the bulk of the planning is just a time lapse basically <laughs> set to music. So I apologize for that, but I'll get it back and uh, I'm probably going to try some new things here and there as I get used to the new stickers I'm using and the new layout. So up front, my supplies that I'm using are I'm using Christina Design stickers for the first time ever. And it took me a while to uh, make that decision. I was always really overwhelmed by the website and didn't know how to order or to even like really find anything. But after watching Sam from Happily a Housewife, uh, she a while ago, like middle of 2020, I think, did kind of a tutorial on how she orders from the Christina Designs website. And that was so helpful. So I finally decided to give it a go in the new year. Spoiler alert, I love these stickers. <laughs> so that's awesome. I'm also using a plum paper hourly layout, uh, which I always thought would not be my jam, but it, I'm finding it kind of is. I'm using a Sharpie S gel in the 0.7 to write, just write on the paper. And then to write on the Christina Design stickers, I am just using a Sharpie ultra fine tip permanent marker that I just had on hand. Uh, I want to try the micro perm that she recommends, but until I can get my hands on one of those, I am just going to use uh, the Sharpie. That is everything I have to intro and let's just get into the planning. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is my new plum paper hourly. And I've only done one week so far in it, but there it is. And I'm loving it. And this is actually mostly back planning because my stickers didn't arrive until, well, Saturday. So I spent some time last night playing around with the new stickers, um, trying to get a feel for them because I've never used Christian Designs before. Um, but I really, I really like them. They're really easy to work with. And there's my monthly setup. I stole a few from the kit. Uh, this weekly kit, but just to have a few more things. I'm, I did, didn't have quite enough uh, event labels to do what I wanted to. So we are going to just kind of jump in. I'm going to use this <laughs> Let It Snow Winter Kit from Chrissy and Designs. I have uh, four sheets here. Um, I am laughing at myself now for ordering this one because I live in Northern California and it does not snow. <laughs> and I definitely do not love winter. It's actually my least favorite season by like a long shot, but it's cute. And, um, this week is as cold as it's probably going to get for the winter. So we're just going to go with it. Yeah. So I'm still learning how, you know, this is only obviously my second week 
are in this planner with these kits. So I am slow going with figuring out how I like to do it. So there's probably going to be a lot of flipping back here because I did really like how this turned out. Um, but and probably also a lot of trial and error. So um, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and use this one, this guy. Actually, this one, and let's go with this lighter this week. So we'll start with the sidebar over here. Um, and I going to, let's see, this is the first time I've ever used this sort of, like a traditional vertical kind of layout. Um, I mean, I know that I was using the vertical priorities, but I found that that just was not doing for me what I had hoped it would. Um, so I was just feeling so uninspired. But that all changed last night when I sat down with this new layout and these new stickers. I started to feel much, much better about my planning life in general. So that was a relief. Um, there's these habit trackers down here. I'm just pretty much using these for <clears throat> AM and PM meds. Uh, it really makes a big difference for me to make sure I'm staying on track of those, staying on top of those. It helps to know that I'm going to check things off or not. I'm finding that I love about Chrissy and Design stickers is how easy they are to work with and how easily they peel up um, with like absolutely no issues, um, which is kind of new and I kind of love it. So the only customization I really made with this planner was this little box I made it for my reading um, for my what am I reading this week box and uh, it's just gonna be perfect there so let's go ahead and do this up here next Also, never used um, like a full box situation before, and so that's new. And <laughs> finding that I actually really love it. So, who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? I'll have to forgive me. My chatter is. A little wonky, I'm sure. I'm just out of practice. Um, it was, it's been a while. And I don't know that I really ever got that totally under control. So, or totally figured out my, uh, my rhythm, my, my, my YouTube planning voice, I guess you might call it. That sounds so dumb. So one of the things that we did um, 
in my time away from YouTube is we rearranged all of our furniture again. <laughs> Go figure. We actually cleaned out a, we have, we have this big storage closet in the middle of our hallway, like right in the middle of the house. Um, and we cleared it all out, found different places for all the stuff we were storing in here and turned it into my office. And, um, I kind of love it. It's not huge, but it's, um, it's, I mean, it's a big closet. It's not a big office though, but I don't, it's like just right for me. I don't need a whole lot of crazy space. Um, but it's big enough that I, and there's like a little alcove where my desk is and uh, behind me, I'm going to get like a nice, like cozy reading chair. And um, so I'm going to just really kind of do it all up so that it's, you know, a room of my own and I can come in here and I can film and I can plan and I can do my budgeting work and I can sit and read if I want to and, you know, hide away from my family. <laughs> um, and I'm just really, really loving it. My husband, it was all his idea and he wanted to give me, give me a place that was just for me, just mine. So, so yeah, so it's really nice. And we did that because we, we put my son back in his room, which we had been using as like the school room slash my office. Um, and he and my daughter had been sharing a room, but we, we realized that um, the two of them have very different needs when it comes to their sleep and having them in the same room was um, not working. So we put him back in his room and uh, it was totally the right call, but that left me kind of without space. And we tried several different spots for the new school area and for my desk and nothing was really working and then my husband had this stroke of genius so that and and this has worked out so much better we quite deliciously happy with it so You may be able to hear my family. They are playing with um, the Lego Mario toys. My son is obsessed with Mario. And if you've not seen these Lego Mario toys, I am gonna have to implore you <laughs> to look them up. Um, they are so cool. He got the starter set and like the Yoshi expansion pack for his birthday. And then for Christmas, he got like the big Bowser boss castle set. And so um, he's been obsessed and he asked his papa to, to play with him today, play that with him today. And so all three of them are busy doing that. And you know, they're not quiet. So, <laughs> you will probably be able to hear them. They're trying, though. It's just... My kids are five and six. I can't force them to be too quiet. Our holidays were nice and COVID quiet. We have been bubbled up with my parents since March. They and only them <laughs> um and uh and you know vice versa like it's just kind of we are one household is how we've been operating and so they um 
spent Christmas with us over here. They actually ended up spending the night for two nights here. Um, it just made everything easier. And my word, did the children love that. First time they had their mummy and puppy sleep over at their house and they were so tickled. So, so it was nice and quiet and um, calm. Not too terribly different from our normal Christmas celebrations, except that my sister, who lives in Los Angeles, and her boyfriend did not, they didn't come up, um, and he is in his final rounds of medical school before going on to the internship phase, and um, he's currently working in the ER, and so they were, you know, keeping us safe and being smart and responsible and not traveling for the holiday, which I appreciate, but also it was um, really, really sad and disappointing that this is the very first Christmas in my entire life that I've not spent it with my sister. And that's incredibly hard, was incredibly hard. Um, even when she lived in Paris for a year, we all flew out there and spent Christmas together. And yeah, so that was really sad and disappointing, but uh, you know, it was the right thing to do. and better do that now than be able to have many future Christmases together and then to then the alternative. <laughs> so that was our Christmas and then um, for New Year's uh, actually my um, <laughs> I can't hear my husband being Bowser or whoever. Um, anyway the kids actually had a sleepover with my parents, which was really quite lovely. Uh, we had our annual budget summit, our first annual, um, you know, just kind of looking ahead, looking to the year ahead and I'm still not quite sure how to work with these stickers and with this layout. So forgive me my uh, incessant Putting down and picking up and round and round and round we go. So I'm putting the full boxes here at about the 10 o'clock hour. Um, Cause that's about when we do school. If you're new or forgot, we are homeschooling currently. And uh, that was what we chose to do for for COVID, we just felt it would be the most, I don't know, stable and sure option for the kids this year. We didn't really want to deal with the uncertainty of if and when, you know, we would go back in person and how that would work and blah, 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 blah. So. So we start back to school tomorrow, and so we usually do school between this like two, 10 and 2 o'clock hour, depending on we can all get ourselves moving. Primarily me. I'm usually the uh, limiting factor there. The, oh, oh, the limb back, as my dad would say. We also got a... Our big family gift for Christmas, we got we got a switch for us all to. It's like the one big gift we got um, this year, and so we've been playing an awful lot of Switch, and uh, especially the yeah, well, we opened it early, and so. My husband has had the last two weeks off from work 
all the kids have had off from school so we've had a nice long two-week vacation all together so we opened it that first Saturday of break and it's just been super fun that's pretty much all we've done is played with our um, with our new video games I am um, finally jumped on the Animal Crossing <laughs> bandwagon and uh kind of obsessed i get it now i get what everyone was talking about why everyone was obsessed uh yeah so i'm gonna do that i'm not gonna use this blooded snow because that's just so obviously never gonna happen here <laughs> We don't obviously aren't doing school on Saturday and Sunday, but I just kind of like the uh, completion of it, I guess. I don't know. Plus, I just want to be able to use as many stickers as possible, you know? Oh, let's do the weekend banner.
All right, so there you have it. Uh, that's my plan with me for this week. Lots of trial error in this spread and probably to come while I get used to, <laughs> used to it all. But that's part of the fun, right? The hobby of this planning that I, that I love so much is playing around <laughs> with the stickers. A couple housekeeping things. I'm gonna tweak my schedule a little bit. I'm gonna do, we're gonna do Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, for sure with the occasional Saturday uploads and they will be uploaded by 6 p.m. Pacific time. And again, one will be planning, one will be more reading focused. And then if and when I have an extra idea or something extra that I want to do a video on, that'll go up on Saturday and that could be either planning or reading or just something else entirely. Yeah, so plenty of planning, plenty of reading. I'm, I really want to le lean harder into the books and reading parts of my channel. I really enjoy those and I find that my reading life as a whole is just more joyful and enjoy it more when I can talk about my reading life. So I hope you are okay with that <laughs> and will engage with that if you're a reader. That's another part of why I want to do this is I'm trying to find my reading people. So as part of that, I will be posting book reviews for every, like more in-depth book reviews for every book that I read on my Instagram, which is at Ashley Plans and Reads, just like the title of the channel. And I would love to have you follow me over there for planning. I'll post my spreads and everything, but also for reading. And if you're interested in more in-depth reviews, uh, as I finish them and not just wait for my uh, monthly recaps, follow me over there and we'll have a lot of fun. Thursday's video will be my top 10 books of 2020. It was a weird reading year, but I still read some really good books and I wanna share those with you. That's it for today. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you feel so inclined. Until next time, happy planning, happy reading.